let's just get straight into it and do an example. Here is an integral whose integrand here is not a rational function. It's not a rational function. Okay, so we cannot use the techniques that we've been doing, like partial fractions, to solve this problem straight out. But the question is, can we make it a rational, uh, the integral of a rational function? Hmm. What do you reckon? Yes, yes, we can. Now, the, the thing that um, gets in the way here is this power of one quarter. Okay, if that power was an integer, one, two, three, then we could, it is a rational function, and we could apply our techniques. So can anyone suggest a, a suitable substitution to make this a rational, uh, the, the integral of a rational function? Say again. Oh, yes. The suggestion is x equals u to the power of 4. Well, that's what we're going to do. Actually, I'm going to switch it around a little bit and let u equal x to the uh, 1 quarter. So if you rearrange that, you get x equals u to the power of 4. Now, with substitutions, you, of course, need the differential. We need to calculate dx in terms of um, du. So we can do that from this expression. It's going to be 4u cubed du. So now I can take those pieces and substitute them in, and hopefully, hopefully we'll get something that we can um, compute. All right, so replace dx with this. And the bottom is going to be replaced with 1 plus u. Is that a rational, uh, the integral of a rational function? Yes, yes it is. But if you look at the numerator, you've got a u cubed up top. The highest power down the bottom is power 1. So what we're going to have to do is split that up somehow. Okay, now you could use long division, but can anyone see a better way? Yes. Even simpler than that. Yeah. Just play with the numerator. Put a plus 1 up the top. Well, actually, a plus 4 up the top and a minus 4 up the top. Okay? Take out the, the factor of 4, and you can cancel. So I'm going to take out that factor of 4. I'm going to add 1 and take 1 away. So there I've got u cubed plus 1. I can factorise that and get the following. Bless you. OK, so now I can split that up and cancel. So now I can just integrate each of those terms, right? So let's do that. Now I'm just going to put the plus c out on the right hand side. So I've done my integration, all I need to do now is get back to x's. So I can just back substitute, right? 
u is x to the one quarter, so I can just replace u with x to the quarter down here. Oh, sorry, x. So one half times x to the one half. Done. Okay, nothing fancy. It would be hard though if you couldn't get that initial substitution. It would be very difficult. All right, questions? Right, so that's a good technique. In general, it, it'll work. There may be other techniques to, to solve that problem. But um, I, I feel this is a this is a fairly good one. <laughs>